The Greatest Insult, 2015 by Jack T. Chick. How do we destroy the king when all his people love him? I don't know. I do, with dirty lies and nasty insults. We can turn all his loyal subjects into a howling mob. Hear ye, tomorrow the king is giving us another day of celebration and another feast, all are invited. Wonderful. He's too good, nobody can take him down. Nonsense. Everyone has a weak spot and everyone loves gossip. You'll see tomorrow. Besides, giving us homes and more land, today our beloved king has stopped taxing us. There is no king who loves us like our king. Dinner is served. Hooray! God, God save the king! Why is the queen missing? It all started with a tiny rumor. I heard the queen is sick. Hmm, that's not what the maid said. Oh really? What did you hear? Just between us, she's afraid the king's poisoning the queen. Nobody knows for sure, so don't tell a soul, okay? Poison her? Your secret's safe with me. What's going on? Somebody's going to kill the queen. And so it begins. Within two months. Who knows what goes on in that dark place? They say the king has a torture chamber, and he has virgins chained to the wall. That's horrible, why? Because he hates women and loves men, especially little boys. He's a monster. The lies and terrible insults increase. Each day the stories get worse. Your Highness, do you know what the people are saying about you? I've heard those ugly insults, ignore them. I don't want to face the troublemakers. Besides, what could go wrong? The king didn't see the warning signs. Our evil king has become a danger to us all. He'll kill our women and steal our children. Death to the king, off with his head. And the howling mob stormed the palace. And took his head. Isn't it strange? No one remembered how kind he was to them. Kill that devil! death to the tyrant. That was the end of this generous king. But there's a real king above all, who created the whole universe and gave a planet to one of his creatures, man. The king loved the man and granted a garden and planted a garden for him. He gave, he even gave him a wife. He gave the man just one rule to follow. Of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. Would this happy couple obey their generous king? No. They turned against their king and God, despite his loving warnings. For this insult, they were kicked out of the garden. They found out you don't mess around with this king. Their firstborn child was a murderer. Each new batch of kids was worse than the ones before. Wickedness was everywhere, so God decided to destroy them all. Only Noah loved God. He told Noah to build a giant boat and warn the people of his coming judgment. Turn from your wickedness. Noah's insane. There's no God. They all insulted God. God sent a worldwide flood, killing everyone on earth. Curse you, Noah, and your God. We don't want to die. Save us, Noah. Let us in. They were wiped out without mercy. Only Noah and his family were saved. This judgment was by water. The next judgment will be by fire. Even after the flood, nothing changed. Something had to change their wicked hearts, but what? God sent his only begotten son to earth on a special mission. This is what the Bible says about his son. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Then God did another miracle.
and the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. God placed His only begotten Son in the womb of a virgin. God's Son took on human flesh. Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. But he was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. At twelve years old, Jesus was already sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. How does he know this? He knows Moses' law better than we do. He should know. He gave the law to Moses. At 30 years old, God showed John the Baptist who Jesus really was. Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. There is only one way a lamb can take sin away. By being sacrificed to God. This is why Jesus came in the flesh. But there's another side to this lamb. Take these things hence, make not my father's house and house of merchandise. He was as bold as a lion, not only that. Jesus judged all the world's religions when he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus also said, For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed unto but hath committed all judgment unto the Son. Jesus judged the world guilty in Noah's day, the sentence destruction by a worldwide flood. We are the same as that rotten crowd. What will this judge, Jesus, do to us? Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Jesus Christ, who watched those people who died in the flood, is watching us but he is grieved that we are headed for the lake of fire because Jesus loves the guilty he provided a way for forgiveness I'll take their place all we like sheep have gone astray we have turned everyone to his own way and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all he was cursed tortured and sentenced to death by the ones he created for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus paid for every sin mankind could ever do. He died, was buried, but three days later, Jesus rose from the dead. Now he invites us to turn to him in faith, trusting in his sacrifice for our sins. If we do, we can be forgiven and go to heaven. So how does the world treat him today? with utter contempt. I hate God. Doesn't work for me. Eh, I'm busy. There is no God. Hail Satan. We'll party in hell. Every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. They've rejected the only way to heaven. So what's left? God's righteous judgment without mercy. By the word of God, the world that then was, being overflowed with water, perished. But the heavens and the earth are reserved unto fire against the day of judgment. We've all insulted God. Each one of us stands before him guilty. He paid our penalty. But if we insult him by refusing his free gift of forgiveness, we must pay it ourselves. Forget heaven. This will be your home for all of eternity, unless... unless you do what Jesus commands you to do. Repent. Lord Jesus, I believe you died for me and shed your precious blood to wash away my sins. Come on, come into my heart and save me. Jesus said, Him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Listener, do you believe Jesus died on the cross for you? Have you asked him to come into your heart and save you? The Bible says there is only one way to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Nobody else can save you. Trust Jesus today.